Um, all right, let's talk Warmer Plus. Uh, I was about to start talking about Warmer Plus and I got really interrupted. Not really, I'm kidding. Uh, just interrupted in general by you guys. So a bunch of questions. So, uh, okay, so guys, I'm about to say something that uh, I don't think many of you are gonna expect, but I'm gonna say something to you. And I want you guys to re remember this because I definitely said I would say this if, if, uh, if it happened. And what I'm gonna say is, Although Warhammer Plus is not what I had hoped it would be, so it doesn't have everything that I had hoped it would be, it's actually, I think, a pretty good value. And um, it is, I think, priced appropriately for what you get. So it's uh, $5.99 US. Um, I think for a year uh, subscription, it's like $69 US. Uh, for Canadians, it roughly translates um, to $6.25, right? Uh, Canadian a month for just for just the miniature alone and which you're probably talking about a $50 miniature so in, in Canada a model like that assassin I think if you go get an assassin um, right now I think it's like $50 so for just the model alone assuming you get the model for free and it's not like um, it's not like hey you get to buy this model you're an opportunity to buy it but you actually get it free if just the model alone and the like the difference is like a dollar a month for the Warhammer app plus all that other content. That for me is actually good value. Now, what I will say is um, obviously uh, like we'll have to see like as far like, you know, I, I said this in the previous cast when I talked about Warhammer Plus. I'm happy to pay for content if the uh, like the animations like look, I, I pay for Netflix. I can download every Netflix show right now on on my i have private torrent sites that i get uh like uh like I, I have private memberships too i could go download every netflix show right now instantly at high high bandwidth like you know one gig a second whatever easily hd 4k whatever 4k dvds whatever but i don't because netflix for the price provides a good service and it's convenient um yes i am uh tom and i also have a spotify subscription so i pay for spotify premium which is what you guys are listening to right now uh, on the stream and Spotify premium is like 10 bucks a month, something like that. And, uh, again, all the songs basically on Spotify premium, I could go on the torrent sites, download those albums, put them in my iTunes and just listen to them. Right. But again, Spotify provides me a good service and I'm happy to pay for that. Now for, uh, Warmer plus for the price you're paying for five 99, I also think that's worth Assuming that the content pipeline um, continues and there's like new stuff coming out, uh, there's a few shows on there, right? So there's the master classes, there's the uh, lore thing, which I don't look. I love the lore, but I don't care to pay for lore. But I know there's a ton of people that pay for uh, painting, like painting Patreons, right? So if the quality of the the uh, the painting videos, say the master classes, are to the level of say um, some of the like painters these high level painters that do patreons that people pay for those plus you're getting the app plus you're getting a free model plus some other you know bonuses th thrown here and there plus like old white dwarfs which i'd love to be able to have access to just for that i think it's worth it so i actually think games workshop from a price point perspective did a great um did a great thing i think i i was i was shocked that it was as cheap as it was i was predicting it was going to be like like $15 or like $13 or something closer to Netflix. So when they came out to say that it was only like, uh, when they came to say that it was only uh, like six, five, 650 or whatever, I was like, I was fucking shocked. I was like, I did not expect that. So, and I said on the previous show, I said, if the, if the app is good or if the service is good and it's worth it, I will come and tell you guys that it's good and it's worth it. So, um, so in that narrow definition, it's great. Now, what I'm not happy about, and what I, I still will criticize GW about, is the fact that as great as it is, if they had they could charge double, if they had put digital rules in there, digital codexes, so you get access to a digital rule book for all the systems, you get access to digital codexes for all the games, um, and they're updated, I would pay double that. I would maybe even pay triple that. So Games Workshop, if you want to get more money out of me, literally add that to Warhammer Plus. Add a service, like a maybe call it Warhammer Plus Plus, where it's like an extra bonus 
like it's an extra kind of tier because I have Netflix and I pay for the second tier. So I pay like I have there's normal Netflix, which is like 1080p and I have a 4K TV. So I pay for 4K, 4K Netflix. So I, I pay an extra premium for that premium Netflix. If GW was like, hey, also in a, in a month, we're going to also launch a Warhammer plus uh, like army rules system where you get all the codexes, you get all the rules. They're digitally updated. Um, everything is there. There's a really, there's like a Kindle style or like reader app where you can basically log into the app on your phone or your computer and read the books just like they're a physical book. Yeah, <laughs> Warhammer New Game Plus. Um, I would pay almost almost triple for that. So if you're listening to Games Workshop, do that. Second, if they added audiobooks, so if they added an audiobook, like an Audible style uh, subscription service, where again, they could, I could, so all the audiobooks right now are on Audible and I have an audio Audible subscription. That's where I get all my auto, audiobooks because it's such a good value, right? If they added the audiobooks to Warhammer Plus, right? I would also pay double. If every month I could get one free audiobook on Warhammer Plus, I would pay $10.99 for it easily. Hands down, no questions asked. So as much as I think they've that's a good start, I think it has a lot of potential. And um, I'm hoping, and just like everything, uh, over time that the service evolves and gets better. And like they do add stuff like that because, um, you know, if they do uh, add things like that, then they could triple. I think they could charge almost triple for what they're charging. If they added audiobooks and digital rules, I'd pay 30 bucks a month for it. Just like probably, you know? So, um, so yeah, so that's me praising Games Workshop for a good job, but also uh saying that it could have been you could have had you could have three times as much money g-dubs from me as you guys currently do so big fail uh in some sense as well now the other thing i'll say is rome wasn't built in a day so i'm not like i'm not gonna lose my mind because every feature and everything that i want is not on the app at the uh first day that it launches i very much recognize that you know, maybe they're not in a place where they can offer that right now. Maybe they're still working on the tech or maybe they're still working on, you know, various uh, whatevers. And so I'm willing to accept that for the time being. Uh, it is what it is. But I would hope that if you guys give feedback, if the people of Warmer Plus give feedback, and if I get Warmer Plus, I'm going to definitely give feedback, um, that we will eventually see them add um, um, a like Audible style service to warm plus that for me would be like finally uh and then i do really feel bad for the uh aos players who are getting their like really good apps basically cut and neutered so it sounds like the azure app and the uh war squirrel builder or whatever the fuck they use right now is gonna get um changed and i don't think that's gonna be good see ya tom thanks for joining man take care um so i feel bad for the um I feel bad for the people that use uh, those apps right now because it sounds like they're going to get the Warhammer 40k app treatment, which is unfortunate. But um, yeah. Overall, I'm pretty happy with that. But the thing is, Agraph, so the thing is right now, people pirate it anyways. So like I have I have full pirated copies of Admech, Sisters, Drakari, Digital, uh, Death Guard. Every, every ninth, ed ninth edition codex, I, I have... I have pirated copies of because digital copies that are like scans of the book because people like me do not want to buy a physical book anymore. I have a whole shelf you can see behind me of physical books and I have boxes or have had boxes of old codexes from past editions that just end up in the landfill and they never have value. So if they want to, uh, and am I happy with myself? Am I proud of myself? No, but like I will take, uh, if you guys are going to provide a shitty, shitty service where I have to buy a book. And here's the other thing. I don't like the Warhammer app. I think it's bad. But if in the Warhammer app, I could put in a code from my book, my physical book, and get a digital copy, a, 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 a digital one-to-one -one copy. So let me show you what I mean by that. Um, so I'm going to go to my books in my iPhone right now. This is literally the ninth edition. You guys can see that. This is the ninth edition Death Guard book in my uh, in my in my um, my phone right now. So it literally is a digital copy. So if I, and I have that for Admech, I have the Sisters book, I have everything. So if I can get 
a ninth edition digital copy like this, not a summary of rules in the app, not like a reference thing, not like a army builder style thing, but literally like I go to Warhammer app, I click on the codex and it opens just like the actual physical codex, just something like that. I would pay for that. I would be happy with that. I would buy a physical book if it gave me a code to enable that. But instead, the physical code, or the physical book, the code, all it enables is you to essentially be able to build armies in their shitty app with your army, but it doesn't actually give you a digital copy of the codex, right? So, which I think is like a huge shame. What do you guys think? Would you guys pay for that? So anyway, so, so those are my thoughts on Warmer Plus. Um, comes out in August, so not that far off, a few months, uh, which I think is pretty cool. I'll give it a shot. I'll definitely, I'll definitely sign up. Uh, I don't use the Warhammer app right now because um, it's not available on PC, and I don't like writing army lists on my phone, to be honest. I think it's really like tedious and um, annoying, so I don't write army lists on my phone. And I think anyone that does is like uh, has a lot more patience than me. Yeah, it's really annoying. It's really annoying. Um, if there is like the one, th like, yeah. Especially when there's sites like Wapedia, which has the entire, like, the entire, like, uh, set of rules uh, laid out in a much better format than, like, the way that they have stratagems laid out, the way that they have, like, everything laid out on that site. It's, like, infinitely better than the way Games Workshop lays out anything, right? So when you have sites like that, it just encourages piracy because the site is like so bad. Um, the app is so bad that it's like, why wouldn't you, right? <laughs> 